Hey everyone, we're back. And today we're gonna look at something that you probably do every single day. You probably even did it within 30 seconds of turning on this video. You got it, browsing the internet. Researching information is hard. And today we'll see how you can use AI agents to read thousands of web pages for you and return answers right in Excel. Stay tuned. One of the great powers of AI models is they can read and write way faster than any human can. That's great, but the models don't really know what's happening right now and they don't know what's on the internet. You can use BARD for single queries, but how about hundreds at a time or thousands at a time? Right now, Prompt Loop Browser allows you to access the internet and automatically finds sources and returns answers for any query. Today, we're gonna look at NFL teams and figure out who's starting this fall in 2023 as a test of how this works. For this exercise, we'll be using the add-in prompt loop in Excel. You'll see I already have it installed as this sidebar indicates in the top right. You can get started with the link below and try this exact function and exercise for free. Businesses are already using prompt loop to find thousands of pieces of information about clients, contacts, market, and much more. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the NFL particularly who's starting as quarterback this upcoming fall in 2023. To get started, it's as simple as typing in prompt loop web. The prompt loop web function is specifically tuned to web, while other AI functions available with prompt loop focus on other things. We're going to select Cardinals in the starting quarterback in 2023, which again, what you would type into Google if you were searching on the internet. Click enter, and the model returns and loads our answer. We can take this function and drag it all the way down the column, reading thousands of web pages and returning exactly what you want and only what you want. This function is specially tuned to tell us when they can't find a particular question. Sometimes you might need to reload the model once or twice to find a particular answer, but the goal is not to make things up. So for 2023, we wanna know who's starting and if the model can't find it, flagging that answer. So that's great. What about something else? What if we want to figure out what is the stadium name that each of these teams play in? Select Prompt Loop Web, Stadium Name, Enter, and the model is going to load the stadium name for each one of these teams. Once we have each stadium name, we can find the capacity for each stadium. Same function, but this time we want to check our work. We trust the model, but maybe in this instance, we're looking for specific graphs or data sets from where this came from. All we do is add a one to indicate we would like the results of the hyperlink returned, hit enter, and now Prompt Loop is going to do that exact same research, but tell us exactly where they found it. So for State Farm Stadium, if we want to, right inside Excel, we can go to this web result and do the same for every single result that the models find. Select a one. Enter, and now, in addition to doing the research, the model is gonna return exactly where it found the information, making coming up with sources, links, and finding out where information is extraordinarily easy. It just shows you how many web pages this model can read all at once. If you wanna find out more, promptloop.com has this and more. I hope this was interesting, and we'll be putting together more demos like this. Thank you for watching, and tune in next time.